It's that time again. Time to bring you something very different from the norm. Something that'll meet your mind and dissolve your ears. So now, kick it back and enjoy the rants, taunts, and treats from the American psycho himself. Please welcome Mr. Brian Crow. Hey, it's me. I always love hearing my name said by somebody else who happens not to be a member of law enforcement. Uh, Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of American Psycho. I am your host, Mr. Brian Crow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's hear it for you. I'm sure you applauded. I know I did. Um, So we're going to have a really fun and exciting show tonight. Uh, Joining me here in studio are members of a band called Cardiac. So over here to my left is uh, Dave, whose last name is hard to pronounce when you've been drinking. What is that? Desaro. See, I told you. (laughs) (laughs) And sitting next to him on his left and further on my left uh, is uh, Don Bish, as we like to call him, Dish. It's a long story. It's a long. Well, it's we, not really that long. We, we, we got an hour. Let's said. start with that. How the hell did you get called Dish? Uh, re, um, and what? Let me guess. You left them all in the sink. No, no. Oh. It, actually, it's, a, it's actually. I'll give you the, the edited version. The edited version is. Uh, I used to play in the Newly Deads with uh, Tammy Down, the right. Post Cat. And six months into the band. He he kept forgetting to announce me on stage. He would introduce everybody else, <laughs> and I don't th- I don't know if it was because he just uh, didn't give a crap or what, but uh, finally he told me he kept forgetting my last name. <laughs> okay, which and, it, and it's really short. But then he goes, and you know what? I, I really don't want somebody in a band named Dawn either. So let's just put it together and call you Dish. I can remember that. <laughs> and I swear to God, that's how it came. And then he started introducing me around Hollywood. Hey, this is my drummer, Dish. And uh, it stuck. Out so of all so the you, months of sitting next to you on the road, I never heard the actual reason. I just figured Don Bish. It's, it's, I figured it's, you named yourself. I what, it's kind of like, it's, the, it's like every, it's, everybody's expecting this massive, great story. Is no, and it turns how, out you've got a name based on short attention span. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> it, that's how it rolls, you know? Crazy. Like, yeah. So how do, I mean, so first of all, Cardiac, uh, great name. Uh, tell me about the band. What is the nucleus of Cardiac? Uh, you guys clearly have known each other for a while. Um, yeah. Where are you guys from initially? Uh, the band is based in Los Angeles. We've uh, kind of put it together a lot over the last couple of years. There's been uh, feeling out different members in and out, and and this is the uh, the group that's been working the best right now. It's it's mm-hmm. we've uh, we've been on the road for eight months together. That pretty much started out the day of that yeah, starting. The, <laughs> the, actually, the the funny funny story about that uh, we he had a show. I bought a nightclub on the East Coast, booked his band Cardiac. Mm-hmm. Um, I happened to fly out because he's my friend, and I was like, well, i got to fly out and be at his show. Right. Um, he calls me six hours before the gig. Uh, now, let me preface this by saying that it was a it's a college bar that holds 600 people. And, and every, there's a test at the end of every show. Pretty much. <laughs> right. But, no, but the entire... We passed, sh- by the, the way. Yeah, the, show was, uh, the show was sold out. It All was right. a Halloween show. It was sold out. He calls me up. Hey man, um, my band quit. I'm like, when? He goes, today. <laughs> Wait a minute. And and this is a true story. Wait a minute. Let's let's not like a member quit. No, his the band. band quit. Yeah. Was, yeah. All right. Let's let's <laughs> side let's sidestep for a moment. Dave, what the fuck did you do? I think that I made an entire band <laughs> quit. I must be kind of hard to get along. Go with. on the road with him for eight months. You'll understand. Yeah, by the way, Dave's only going to be in for part of the uh, part of the interview. At some point, I'm going to get pissed and kick him out. <laughs> or Dish is going to quit during yeah, this. I may, I may. And I'll be searching for a new drummer. Yeah. But, uh, but no, he calls me, he says, he's like, the band quit. Apparently, there was a, some disagreements and... Uh, Oh well, there was some disagreement. Yeah. No, apparently, <laughs> clearly. So I said, I said, well, you know what? It just so happens that you know I play drums, and that's what I do for a living. So uh, email <laughs> me the songs, and he was always in pop punk bands. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking, easy gig, <laughs> I can do this. So he emails me the charts, and it turns out it's progressive piano based opera. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is this? So dude? wait, progressive so, piano based <laughs> rock opera, rock opera <laughs> yeah. called. Cardiac. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to follow There's the, evil, po- the evolution a point here. To the, yeah. So, anyway, uh, we're gonna have to talk about your drug use in a minute. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, in it's in there. It's in there. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but so, so, so that being said, he emails me this stuff, and he's and all the bass and the pianos, and everything are on track, on the back track for the show. So, mm-hmm. 
So we, we can do this. So I learn as much as I can. My lighting guy at the club, who, <laughs> who I just met, I'm like, I heard you play guitar. He's like, yeah. I'm like, um, well, here's... Oh, I had Mikey, too, at that time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, had, we had one we guitar. We did but... have... Yeah. yeah. I, call, I actually hit him up, and I was like, hey, man, uh, I've got my guitarist, because I didn't want to tell him my band quit yet. <laughs> and I was like, I got a guitarist. Uh, is it okay if we do an acoustic set tonight? And he's like... Absolutely not. <laughs> like, I, had, I had 650 college kids wanting to party. That was yeah. not going to fly. And it was, right. the, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, um, what do they call it? Um, it was the, the night before Halloween. Yeah, Devil's Night, the night before Halloween. Not so, too. so it's like a Halloween oh, party so too. That was the night that Eric Draven dies. It's, mm. it's a crow reference. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You just lost me for a second. You and your movie trivia. So, yeah, sorry. He, uh, <laughs> When I when I when I let that out, then that's when he was like, you know, he's like, um, you need the guitar, start driving. You got six hours to get here, and he's like, oh, I'll have the whole set down by the time you get here. And I'm like, and that's right. what I thought was pop punk. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then I get it. And I'm like, well, we can do the single. Right. You know. So, so that's what we did. It'd be perfectly okay if you have car trouble. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, exa- that's exactly what happened. I got the lighting guy who was in music college at the school. I'm like, learn this stuff on bass, and uh, they showed up. We introduced each other. And he played it perfectly, yeah, by the way. Yeah, and we, we killed it. <laughs> we, 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 I literally walked in the door. I said hi to my buddy. He walks me around showing me this epic bar that he just got. And then uh, I, I literally shake hands with this kid, 22 years old at the time. And I'm like, hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm Dave. And I just start getting him shit-faced because he's like, he was, he was kind of nervous and he was kind of tucked up when I first met him. So me and Mikey and Disher, you know, we, we drink our, our, our amount. And, I've uh, seen... And yeah, and yeah. Justin Justin it's gets true. completely wrecked, and I'm like, you, you gonna be able to handle this, dude? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And he, he can barely walk at this point. And he gets <laughs> up there, and we just like we met like a couple hours before this, and we got up and had never played together ever in a room in any other band before, and and running backtracks, so and we killed it. And everybody yeah. and MTV was there filming, by the way, <laughs> a five camera shoot. That was they were releasing the Fighting Demons video on MTV that night. It was Man. as big, and I'm just so so we kill it, and then the next day he call he calls me from the hotel, and he's like, "Hey, um, uh, we got this tour. You want to do it?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know what? I'm already out here. I got to get back to LA. Might as well tour back." So I called the guitar player, and I'm like, "Do you have any classes other than your internship at my bar?" And he goes, "No." I'm like, "Cool. You're going on the road." He's like, "For how long?" I'm like, eight months." <laughs> he's like, I'm, and he's like, "When?" I go, "Tomorrow." <laughs> so we went to the bar, rehearsed once, and then. Drove to New that's, Orleans. That's and still Blitzer. only been our only rehearsal. Our I only think. Rehearsal. <laughs> wow, we learned about we, uh, we our rehearsal was like the first couple weeks of tour, oh. and then then yeah. we got it down pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this is all true. This actually happened. You can't make did this anybody, shit up. Did anybody film this shit? Or oh yeah. Like, oh, oh, we yeah. got a lot of it. Oh, oh well. Wait really? until the documentary of this, stu- this stuff comes out. Yeah, I, I, I want to see that. Oh yeah. There's... We've got about. I think from this tour, we've got about a hundred and ten gigs worth of video footage. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and we had the a, camera running a lot. There is poo involved. Uh, there's there's like, is there is poo involved. The there's a lot of sickness. Great. There's the a fir- lot of uh, <laughs> the first week out. The first. Day out, the guitar player gets a stomach virus. I thought he was just hung over. <laughs> it turns out it's a stomach virus, and like he, we would be about to pull off the interstate, he would kick open the van door and just projectile vomit. He, I mean, he puked his way all the way to Connecticut and shit his way all the way to New York. <laughs> That's a uh, that's a T-shirt, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> and all I got was to wipe my ass yes. with this T-shirt. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Big brown stain on the side of it. I think this is a I think this is a perfect time to uh, uh, pl- I, after that kind of build up. I think we need to play a track. We need to hear what then, this. Th- why don't we like. launch right into fighting demons what? right now? Since oh. we we're just talking about let's, doing that. Let's do that. This let's, is a, this is the videos out there too for this. Uh, Check it out on our Reverb page at uh, ReverbNation.com slash Cardiac Band. That's right. Mm-hmm. So we're going to check this tune out. We will be, uh, be back shortly with uh, Dave and Dish from Cardiac. This is Fighting Demons. Just sort of like my conversations with my ex-wives. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm worn and sore and it's warmer than me The phone rings in time with the repeated knocks My heart's run on the inside And I'm unjustified with my own mind size Would it be better if I died? Somebody needs a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That was an intense piece of music, man. Yeah. <laughs> so where, where did, uh, not only where did that come from, but uh, just the whole, the nucleus of what uh, Cardiac is, where did this whole project come out of? Um, Like Dish was saying before, I've always like, I've always, well, I, I had an old punk band called High Risk and it was very punk, pop punk, punk rock kind of style. And, um, uh, when that band broke up, I started writing more songs for that band, but but I was starting to write a little bit more serious. Mm-hmm. And I think the first song I ever wrote was actually one that's never been recorded. It's called Postcard from Hell. And um, I was going through a bad breakup with a fiance at the time, and it was just more of a serious vibe that couldn't be that party vibe of pop punk. Right. And I started kind of thinking, like, you know, maybe maybe to go to start writing for a more mature sound. Mm-hmm. And um, what turned out was uh, I hit a rough point in my life, and and that's where cardiac kind of came out of is is i i started getting the idea of writing a rock opera of kind of like when when you when everything's failing in your life and you get down to your last fucking thing and you actually do attempt suicide a lot of people and and realizing like in that last kind of like movement of getting Mm -hmm. to that point of getting a grip back on your life and then turning it around and actually kind of using it to help other people too gotcha okay same spot so i started writing started writing more songs once I got that that kind of idea into my head writing more songs along that storyline but 
there's been some that we've written too that are that are totally off set from the story mm -hmm. that we're doing as singles um, and I'm just kind of you know we're not pressured to get the rock opera done at any time but it's it's the original thought was to be a 20 song rock opera 10 on 10 of uh, it's called destroy rebuild mm -hmm. 10 songs in the down movement that's got more of a metal kind of grimier sound to it a little harsher and then the rebuild actually starts off with that song fighting demons that you just heard um, that's pretty much the turning point where he starts fighting back the character gotcha, and, okay. and starts rising back up. Concept. <laughs> Deep one. Yeah, think Queensryche, except uh, very serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because like... Queensryche, they're known for their punchlines. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking Queensryche, that comedy band. Yeah, comedy <laughs> band. <laughs> Operation Mindcrime. <laughs> <laughs> that's a laugh or a minute. <laughs> But it, it does. It does get when you're playing these songs on tour. Like at, at first, I, it didn't quite hit me. You know, after finally, after about three or four weeks on the road, playing seven nights a week, you start to know the lyrics and you start to know. You, right. You start to actually. It's like wow, this is fucking deep. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? And and after you do the destroy, you're kind of in a shitty mood on stage because you're like <laughs> you're like wow, I'm really depressed. Let's finish with something fun, you know. And right. then we do, and then I'm happy, and then we go have a drink, <laughs> yeah. you know. And uh, but that it, it is a very serious, uh, very serious concept. And, and and with it, I mean, we've also we've we've also been able to wa work with some companies that I've been reaching out to for years that we finally got attention of while we were on the road this time. That uh -huh. we got on um, Music Saves Lives got us on their sampler for Warp Tour this year. That cool. we were passing out when kids were donating blood at the stand. Um, there is a so when kids donate blood at something like that, do they get it into the vial or just walk up and start <laughs> slashing? Here you go. Yeah, it, it, it depends. On, it depends. Just on, kind of spray yeah. it in. It depends on which stage you're at. Right? Okay. <laughs> it's like sometimes it just they bring the bleeding kids from the mosh pit exactly. over, <laughs> right? And they're like, hey, before the, before exactly. we stitch you up, you get his feet, you get his head, <laughs> just spin them. Yeah, <laughs> no, you, just kind of drain them out. Yeah. But yeah, we got with that company, uh, we did um, a couple things with uh, To Write Love on Our Arms, which is actually a suicide pre prevention uh, organization that um, they've got like a million followers on Facebook. And when we did, we, when we got to work with them, that was like a huge thing for us. Um, and then, there, you know, there's, there's other things that we're reaching out to right now, trying to do to um, get into different schools and stuff like that to, to work some after school programs. And do a couple things like that while we're on on the road. But we've done a lot of benefit shows. Um, the next tour coming up, we're actually concentrating on just going out, playing. You mm -hmm. know, we're still cardiac, but um, we kind of put in our time. We'd like to last raise year. some money for ourselves. Yeah, for that's one. pretty much what I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. we kind of yeah, we yeah, kind of got. I understand that. Yeah, right. We got to take this one a little bit more on on the professionalism of just playing as a band out there and not really. Giving our time as our only thing that we're getting. Like, right. You know, <laughs> we're willing to donate blood, but that's where the donating that's stops. Exactly. Yeah. Well, right, yeah. right now, our blood is pretty much what we're paying with. So. Right. Pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, um, that's pretty much the story. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, so how long have you been playing? I mean, did, uh, did you start off as, as a guitar player? I mean, uh, undertaking a rock opera is not something that is, is sort of done. Uh, what are you going to do on Monday? I was going to do a rock opera. Especially cool. for somebody that can't write music. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> cle well no, it, you know, maybe you know, not so written down, but clearly he oh, can. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. He's a fantastic so, songwriter. Yeah. There's a big difference. He, he wrote technical music. That's where the technical stuff comes in. Because sure. he's like, hey, man. I got this great idea. It goes, but a debt, da 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 da, and then he gives it to schooled musicians, and they're like, "That shouldn't work." <laughs> yeah, when we were in the studio with us. We went in with a producer named Andrew Whites, and I, I also had a um, my keyboardist that he was the first member that joined on to the original group, uh, Steve Majora. He actually helped embellish a lot of what I was doing the right way. Um, mm -hmm. He got he captured the sound that I wanted. I uh, it was a lot of me dicking around on a piano. Like really half ass, like and I've got my timing sucks. Just touch like, the white keys. Pretty just much. Do that. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out different things that kind of gave the mood of like the. Uh, a lot of it was written lyrics first, and then I kind of did the music after. Uh -huh. And as we got the different pieces in the band, it started really coming together of just you know kind of watching over what I wanted to be incorporated in there, and then letting the guys run with it as well as musicians themselves. Right. And now that we're we're focusing on the new songs, we're doing a little bit. A different, it, it, not necessarily a different style, but it's kind of what it's calling for for some of the songs that we're doing now. Mm -hmm. A lot of the songs we put on the first EP that we put out is a lot of the rebuild side. 
Um, okay. It's a lot of the more positive ones. There's only, I think, two tracks that we've got on that album that I would consider Destroy. Um, mm-hmm. One is the next one coming up, Another Hero Dies. Um, and that's pretty much the end of the first scene, of, of, of the first part of the album. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're getting ready to write the angry stuff now. <laughs> yeah, the uh, and we have the been, good and, and it's and the, so, it's so, the fun so, stuff, you're, so you're still writing the stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you need r- angry stuff. So and a lot of it, should I just start calling you names just yeah. to sort of like <laughs> motivate you? Stand Look, in you line. prick. No. A lot Stand of the, a lot line. of the songs. <laughs> a lot. Of, <laughs> I got first dibs. A on lot that of the shit. songs have been ditched. A lot of the songs have been worked on, like off of just like a few scattered lyrics that I had back in like 2007. It's like. I'm constantly reaching back into old notebooks, and especially notebooks that I wrote in when I was in that down part right now, mm-hmm. to get back into it to write the songs that we're doing right now, and finishing off those lyrics, and then figuring out the vibe, and actually having Dish and Justin join up right now, or actually, it's worked out completely proper to have the right guys in for, for the writing of these songs sure. with me. Because they're they both come from a more metal, more hard rock background, mm-hmm. and it's um you know I've I've got the punk thing in there, but they you know with the bands that Dish has played in in his past and the bands that Justin is really likes listening to, it's actually coming together exactly how I would want it to. <laughs> like, so let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and check out uh, Another Hero Dies, and then I think we're going to take a quick commercial break, mm-hmm. and then we will talk some more with the guys from Cardiac. We'll talk about what you're currently up to and where you would like to see it go, and uh, who the hell knows what else will come up. <laughs> we'll think of something. Yeah. yeah. We got stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, and eight, eight months in a van. Yeah. Eight, eight months eight, in a van. Uh, yeah, we got that stories. That in itself sounds like a song. Eight months in a van. That's a sad song. <laughs> That, my friend, is a is a sad... Wait, is that with the heater or without the heater? That's what, either way. Either way. The, there's smells. There's... I just... I don't even think I want to Oh, my know. God. And by the way, we, we, we flew a lot on this tour, too. We flew back and forth across the country to start different legs of the tour. <laughs> and, this is uh, not a good flyer. I'm not a good flyer. That's funny in itself. But the funniest <laughs> thing I ever saw on an airplane happened on this, and we'll tell that story. Yeah. It I, involves a prank with the TSA, and it's fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm getting anxious. <laughs> (laughs) That's good. (laughs) All righty. So this is, uh, again, Cardiac with Another Hero Dies. I never thought I'd make it here That I'd ever get this far To listen to my visions While I'm stitching my own heart And now I take a look At what has slowly slipped away Inside and wonder how my dreams died now Where went all my pride? Another hero dies today Without his cane And another villain laughs at the to pray and wait and the hero doesn't know the life he wastes so shamelessly and with one fierce cut he shuts his glazed up eyes and dies within me While I'm stitching my own heart And now I take a look at what has slowly slipped away inside And wonder how my dreams died now Where went all my pride? Another hero dies today Without his cane Please. 
Seeking a home for your website and require managed services? What are managed services? You need to make a change to your website but don't know how to do it? Don't have a content management system installed or don't understand how to use it? Managed Hosting is the way to go. With XMLA Managed Website Hosting, you just email us or give us a call and we will update your website for you. Packages start at only $24.95 per month and it's only $5 for each additional gigabyte of space. And you can host and serve your site on a fast, reliable platform with complete control. Visit XMLAhost.com for complete information. Hey, Marty. Hey, Frankie. I need to buy some tires so I can get to work, but I don't have 400 bucks. What do I do? You gotta check out used tires, express.net. They carry thousands of used tires. Our main warehouse holds tens of thousands of tires with a great variety of brands, models, sizes, and thread depth. Available for online sales or local customers. Visit us online at usedtiresexpress.net or call 310-837-1000 and speak with a tire specialist. Use Tires Express. Save some cash and the planet. We want you to take the shows with you, so subscribe to our podcast at iTunes or tune in live every Friday from your desktop or your internet-ready mobile device and listen live. We specialize in printing and product manufacturing for advertising and marketing. We look forward to serving your business's printing, mailing, and marketing requirements with competitive prices and superior customer service. To learn more about what we can do for you and your local business, visit us online at promedia.la or call 818-947-1605. Promedia.la. Welcome back to American Psycho. Yeah, 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 come on back. It's nice to have you all here. We are sitting with the guys from Cardiac. Damn, that was loud. (laughs) We just got finished listening to uh, the track off of their uh, CD called Another Hero Dies. That one, there's a a heavy piece of oomph going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Like, so <laughs> that's that's. So what happened to you as a child? Damn it! Um, <laughs> funny enough, his family's really nice. I, yeah, it wasn't a family. Thing. On the surface. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the serial killer. It looks all nice with the white picket fence. You go in the basement. There's bodies. Exactly. <laughs> and some of them are moving. Oh shit! That's my house. Anyway. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> so uh, so how many tracks do you have currently recorded, and uh, uh, what's next? Yeah. We're working on uh, new stuff right now. Yeah. Fact, we have uh, Dave. You take this one. We have eight recorded. Um, we have about four more in the in the works right now in the studio. Um, eight previously recorded for the EP, and then uh, this one um, we kind of went with the idea we we're gonna do three right now. It's turned into you know working with multiple producers now. Um, Jay Gordon from Orgy being one of them. Um, Clayton Ryan is another one that we're working with, and uh, we're still scouting out a couple more. But um, we're kind of picking, picking through, uh, uh, you know, testing guys out, seeing their vibe and our vibe, and and going that kind of route this time, and using multiple mm-hmm. guys on, you know, a couple songs for each guy. Right. And whoever nails it the best, that's that's who we're working with for the majority. <laughs> but uh, we've got about, I mean, I, I've written about 40, 40 something songs right now. Wow. So kind of, and like a lot of them don't have to deal with the rock opera. A lot of them do. And just right now, I'm trying to really write the story out as best as possible because the, the main thing that I always wanted to do with this is turn it into a live performance piece where it's got kind of a uh, Cirque du Soleil thing kind of going on uh-huh. where it's got like dancers, performers on stage. And acted out, acted out pieces as well. So to you bring just act- want an excuse to have chicks with very little clothing on. Oh, nothing the shit. wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong. And never that, or he just really loves Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's it's the one next or, rock. Opera. It's one or the other. <laughs> It's either you love Broadway or you love Broadway. you love women. So, uh, so I mean, so this rock is it just is it called Cardiac or does it have a is there a, another title it's, to it? It's Cardiac. It's the it's the Cardiac. band Cardiac. Cardiac. Yeah, Cardiac this, will be the the project, and then uh, the the album is eventually going to be called Destroy Rebuild. Okay, I have a couple EPs leading up to that, um, and actually, since I started writing the first rock opera, uh, I've done it kind of going into a third part kind of thing so it's going to be a mm-hmm. three piece story along the lines gotcha okay uh, and not, there's you mean there's more yeah jeez dude 
So, uh, <laughs> so picture about 60 songs in total Great. for the first three I albums. I do not get paid enough for gotcha. this. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> so, so we're talking... Wait, do you some... have to perform the whole thing I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So we're looking at some serious OCD ADHD. Yes. He's the most OCD yeah, yeah. person I know. You should see how clean the van is. It's yeah. insane. Except when the guitar player is opening the door to projectile vomit. No, yeah. yeah. No, but that, who's the first person with the wet wipe? Okay. Dave is. <laughs> I'm just, that's, that's just because he cares. That's all. That's no, all. But, not for him, for no, me. Literally, uh, <laughs> one of the best things to do is go to Dave's house and just leave uh, silverware drawers a quarter of an inch open <laughs> and then see how long it takes him to notice that shit's messed up yeah. in his kitchen. Dish ever sleeps over at my house. I wake up, all my cabinets are open. The, fucking, <laughs> the fridge has been rearranged. There's I have like fun shit. With it. Yeah. It's good stuff. What? I've had people pull out uh, shirts out of my drawer because I've got them like you know color coded and stacked the right way, and people yeah, will come in and hurricane my room up as a practical joke, stuff like that. Wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, practical joke. I, we're gonna go right up Dave's house. It's pretty rock star. You Check know? this out. <laughs> this is how funny. This is how bad it gets. We were we were we were at his parents' house and we stopped on tour and, and I was doing laundry and I everybody we have black and then another load of black. That's right. all we have. So. I was I got all these clothes out and there was a bunch of his stuff in with mine so I folded all the clothes so it would be nice <laughs> he comes out he's like dude I gotta re- I'm sorry but he refolded all the freaking clothes because they weren't I, you know what I, yeah. I, I want to go on tour with you guys because I can see it being this way most of the band goes into their rooms and they destroy and break everything. He and Dave comes stuff. in later. No, 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 I'll, be, I'll be the first person to trash it at the end of a good night. Yeah, <laughs> he will be. But I'll be the first person up in the morning to fix it before everybody gets up. <laughs> Writing a note, I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. I really apologize. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Me, and Dish, me and Dish are definitely the guys that you run and hide from at around 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the cops. Wait a minute. That's what, usually who we're hiding we'll scare, from. We'll, we'll scare them off, too. Sometimes. <laughs> They'll be like, I don't want to deal with this paperwork. Uh, funny story about a cop, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we'll get into that a little bit. But we should talk about uh, like Jay producing our new stuff. Right? Yeah. Before that. before we get to that, I was going to ask, um, uh, there was, there was a, a great bass solo and a great guitar solo on that, too. Uh, who are oh. the players? Who are the other guys? Uh, actually, th- um, the two guys that played on the album, there's actually three guitarists on the album. Um, mm-hmm. My keyboardist, Steve, actually played uh, a lot of the rhythm guitar going on, too, and a lot of the a lot of the effect work he did as well like uh, at the end of um, at the beginning and the end of fighting demons there's also this kind of weird like you know, like kind of spacey sound going on and he actually took a an electric razor like a for your face and put it against the strings and kind of oh, did wow. like a Tom Morello style kind of thing to incorporate that sound in there um, the other guys were uh, Connor and Anthony um, they uh, were they were We've gone through a bunch of guitars actually when I was trying out guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these, and these guys, lot. these guys were like top on my picks. They, they they were fucking amazing guys. It was just that they lived in San Francisco and to do every show down in L.A. They were having to drive all that way down and right. they, they weren't uh, ready to relocate. And and all of us were in multiple projects at that point. Like um, I was in a couple. My keyboardist at one point was in like eight, I think. The the drummer <laughs> played. Amazing. The drummers played in more dr- more bands than Dish, I think. I mean, like, it's, it's, yeah, I think maybe. These, I don't know. We were we were all in so many projects. It was just too demanding for everybody, and and mm. they were um they were focusing more on a metal group they were working on up up north than uh, I think they're actually on tour with one of their groups right now. I'm seeing really? pictures up on Facebook, but that that's who laid down the guitar on the album. Um, and then uh, for bass, uh, it was this guy Nick, and I still can't say his last name. <laughs> it, it, we just call him Nicky P. It's, uh, he's got this last name that he told us this story that just always goes by Nick P. Because when he was in grade school, the teacher actually said Nick fuck shit, <laughs> or at least came out sounding like that. So all the kids called him fuck shit from then on. And so, like, from then oh. on, he just goes, he's like, call me Nick P. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I can see where you might make that leap. Uh, but wow. it, it is a spelling close to that phonetically. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck shit on bass. <laughs> but yeah, he was, he's an, he's an amazing epic player. And him and, uh, him and Steve actually joined forces in a band called Robert John and the Wreck that they're also out on the road right now as well. Mm-hmm. 
crazy. Mm -hmm. And so, Dish, uh, let's get a little bit into your background because oh, you clear the so. Yeah, sorry, we're it's, yeah. Time, it's time to open up my, and share with my the class. Don't, don't act like you don't like talking about it. <laughs> yeah, liar, I like talking about me. Yeah, so let's. I mean, let's talk about your background. I mean, you've clearly played with a lot of bands. Uh, yeah, I've so, been in a couple. Yeah, like so. Who? Uh, well, uh, I played with the Yardbirds, mm -hmm. which was uh, fantastic. I played with them for four years. <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rock and Roll. Exactly. And, 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 you know, so 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 next time we get into a musical argument, and Dave, um, I'm just going to lay this out. They te they made me an official member of the band in 2007. So technically, technically, I'm a member of a band in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So and he never lets that go to his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I never tell anybody, by the way, I'm in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes. <laughs> No, but that was that was pretty great. I got to play percussion with those guys in uh, it, for four years, and it was amazing. And you know, they're just—I learned so much with them. Sure, um, you uh, hope. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, who are you gonna learn? What are you gonna learn from a Hall of Famer? Really, <laughs> really <laughs> had a know. nap. Yeah, they did. Well, something, they're, they're about, their, something about hallways, I'm guessing. Funny thing, funny thing, uh, they're in their 60s, so there was a lot of napping. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot. The food was great, very soft. <laughs> no, just, they're, they're great guys. Um, still talk to them to this day. Um, I was in uh, the Bullet Boys for a brief stint. Um, Mark, super talented guy, Mark Torian. Um, very talented. We'll leave it. You know, <laughs> that's that's enough of the description. And there, there you go. He's Very super talented. talented. That's it. Leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he's he's a great guy. He's either really really nice or really really hates you. <laughs> There's like he's he's full on each direction. Um, you know, I played with Pretty Boy Floyd. Uh, that was you know the '80s glam band. Did a lot of a lot of touring in Asia with them. Um, uh, the Japanese. Well, that was her name, Asia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I got stories. I got, I got stories about one. that one too. <laughs> That's um, another interview. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a whole other interview. Uh, you know, metalsludge.com. So what? <laughs> um, yes, you can read about my penis. Um, but anyway, it's you, one of the only good reviews. It's on one, I got one of the only good reviews on the site, actually. Really? Actually, what it was really cute was it was like we're in New York for Dish's birthday, and uh, uh, <laughs> and his girlfriend is in the car. Reading his metal sludge review, very very proud of it. <laughs> just like I'm with this babe now, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, with, I'm with you, babe, and Thank just reading it out loud. And I'm just like, this is so kind of cute that like his little rock star girlfriend thinks it's awesome that Dish has got a review of his sexual escapades online <laughs> and how good he was. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Well, you know, if you're gonna get a good review for something, yeah, um, that's one. You yeah. know, why not? Uh, why but yeah, not? you know, I played with everybody. You know, Tammy. We had the Newly Deads. Uh, uh, oh, jeez, is going back. Uh, Vicious Licks, which we just did a little f first show in three years the other night, which was. Uh, Sleaze Rock at its finest, but you know, it was uh, awesome. You know, I love the level of pride. It, no, well, you know what? It, it was actually really, it was actually good. really good. You know, it's, it's it's funny when you don't see somebody for three years and then it's like, hey, we're on a stage together, and uh, it's supposed to feel like it did three years ago when you rehearsed five nights a week, and right, it, it, it's it's awkward. <laughs> you know, but but at the end of the day, you know, it's some good, some really great songs that'll never get old. I don't think, and you know. But yeah, I've, I've done a lot, and um, I'm I'm pretty proud of everything I've done, and not so proud of a couple things, and and uh, yeah, and and just uh, uh, in complete disclosure, uh, oh, Dish yeah. is also the uh, the new drummer for uh, for the band Zero One. Zero. The, the, where the song American Psycho comes from. So yeah. we actually play in a band together yeah, as well. And uh, a welcome member and a decent guy to hang out with. And at least when he flosses, he's nice to kiss. So. <laughs> I just had some garlic pizza before we come in here. Great. Kiss Dave. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and which, by the way, we're playing uh, Monday night at the That's House right. of Blues. That's right. Speaking of kissing there, dudes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> playing the House of Blues Monday night, bring dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What, 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 is West what was Hollywood? that? That's well. Well, yeah, for those of you in the Hollywood, Los Angeles area, Zero One is going to be playing that, again, House of Blues on Sunset. Uh, we are going to be uh, on right before the band Steel Panther. Fun so guys. we should be hitting the stage about 10 o'clock. Uh, by all means, uh, come out, and ladies. Um, and, uh, Bring dudes. <laughs> yeah, to, to buy you drinks. And, uh, and, uh, and then take off your tops. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, by all means, uh, come out. You can certainly uh, go on to our Facebook page and add your name to uh, the $5 discount list. What is the and, Facebook page? Uh, it's something about, you know, just search for zero one. numbers and letters in it. Yeah. It's, it's zero some, one nation? I think so. Yes. yes. Zero one nation. That yes. is the word zero and the number one and the word nation. Because uh, we're actually planning on seceding from the union and becoming a, a country unto if ourselves. Pal actually, if you, want yeah. the actual, <laughs> if you want the actual event page, it is facebook.com slash event slash one seven nine five five zero seven eight five five six five zero seven zero. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg, for making that so easy. Yeah. Okay. I got a great idea. Let's bring Dawn and Dave into the studio. Come on in, guys. We'll talk about cardiac for a while. This should be. This should be an easy interview. Uh, this is easy. This is nothing. This is a good time, people. Uh, since we are throwing out how to, uh, so how do people find uh, Cardiac on? I mean, I know you got uh, you've done uh, several videos. Are those things up on YouTube? Yeah, the best way to actually find everything all in one. Reverb Nation is a great site for it. We've got all of. Uh, if you want to find some bad stuff, search around for it, Google it. But, but all the yes, all by the, all means, go look for the bad um, stuff. All the good stuff is in one. That is the good one stuff. nice helpful little place reverbnation.com slash cardiac band and that's got all of our videos right there that we want you to see <laughs> and some that we don't want you to see that we've There's, actually tagged in does the one yeah. with, is there one with justin on the shitter up there uh i think that might be on our facebook page which is <laughs> facebook.com slash cardiac the band and look for doing like seven five three nine four two so no no eight, we make five, those easy <laughs> yeah. no uh there's a, there's one up there of our guitar player taking a crap and uh so go and look no, for that as soon as funny, the show's no, this over this is a funny story hold on it's, it's, so he's never he's straight out of music college first tour we're in San Antonio never really Texas. been in a band before he's never then. been in a band <laughs> like this is his first band all of a sudden he's never like, been he just west started of Ohio. shaving yeah, pretty much you know <laughs> never west of Ohio in his life and so we're in Austin to, or no, no we're in San Antonio, San Antonio with a big boot we're there and um after the show I, I had a super fan there and he kept getting me to sign all this crap and uh which is flattering but he's like wanted the guitar player to sign his that set of drumsticks that I just got done signing and I'm like well he's kind of taking a shit right now and, he's, <laughs> and Dave's like come on so Dave, yeah, they, so this, Dave this, takes this, him into the this bathroom this place called the Night Rocker and Night Rocker Live they feed us with alcohol when we yeah, go there they're so awesome so we're a little tipsy to say the least considering we each drank a bottle of tequila so we're angry too <laughs> um, so we Dave walks this guy into the bathroom and there's Justin sitting on the toilet with no door on it, and when you open the bathroom door, you can <laughs> see much right the entire bar can see you pooping. <laughs> like literally, it's like it, and it stalls on a slant. You know, it's just horrible. And he's there. And comes me with the video camera. <laughs> and here comes Dave with the video camera behind the guy, and the guy's like, "Can you sign my stick?" Best part, Justin doesn't even bat an eye. He just looks up, goes, "Sure, man." Grabs the sticks, <laughs> signs the sticks, hands them back, and then gives them the metal horns. <laughs> Then wiped and walked away. <laughs> and we have this on video. Uh, his first autograph. We're actually going to still frame the part where he's throwing up the metal horns. Yeah. Still frame it. Blow it up into a big poster and for his birthday. Be a birthday and present. Yeah, everybody's going to be signing that this year. Yeah, yeah. I got it. That you know that that is uh, that that is pretty it's, epic. Yeah. <laughs> There's we were we we were in uh, New Orleans for uh, Mardi Gras oh, this year. Uh-huh. This is another ass moment from oh, Justin. He, <laughs> he jumps in front of twenty thousand people and mooned everybody. <laughs> you know, how girls whip their boobs out for beads. Yeah, they're, uh, he thought that they wanted him to bear his ass, and that wasn't quite the case. <laughs> but the best well, he, part, he got, he got beads, but they were anal beads. <laughs> yeah, <he had> yeah. <laughs> but the best they part, they threw him right in. Yeah. We were supposed to play while we're on while we're on tours. We were supposed to play uh, on a float in a Mardi Gras parade. We were supposed to play on a float in the Mardi Gras parade. We didn't quite make that. Well, we come out of a... We, it was dark in the bar. We've been drinking on Bourbon Street. We walk outside and we're like, dude, it's daylight. And then everybody's like falling down drunk. And we're like, dude, it's 9 a.m. We're supposed to be on a float at 10. And then we're like, who's driving? And we're, and we're like, no. Nobody. So we all pass out in the van and sleep through the parade. <laughs> that was a good Mardi Gras. I was with with our boys from uh, Louisiana. Desti- Destination Sanity, another great band, fun guys. Actually, uh, their their bassist might be joining us on some parts of our tour, if we can <laughs> afford them. <laughs> if we, <laughs> if we can always... afford to take uh, four people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That just look for the big blue motorhome. You'll find us. <laughs> so when do you get? When, when is the plan to go out and uh, pound the road some more? 
Well, uh, there's a few tour options that we have. There's a possibility, possibility we might be going out uh, with a larger group for a few weeks. To be named later on. To be later named on. later. Larger because they eat too much or what? Uh, no, because they actually have hits. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that. People, people like them. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you can't, you can't like even hint? They have, being... well, Jay Does Gordon it... is producing our, our new stuff. Okay. Yeah, that should be pretty freaking clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing games here. <laughs> By the way, I think Jay was supposed to call in. I think he was, but he's actually got practice with that said band oh. <laughs> right around yeah, now. So wait a minute. I mean, I know who the band is, and maybe people out there listening. Uh, well, their initials I mean, are orgy. Yeah, I was. Just, <laughs> I was just gonna say. I mean, I'm. He's not producing anything. I'm. I could just say that's Jay Gordon from Orgy. Yeah, I yeah, wonder yeah. if maybe you guys would be touring with. Yeah. Metallic, no. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, then we'd have to be in the movie. There would be things. Right, yeah. That would and suck, then you'd have to sh- you have to buy 3D glasses just to watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too much St. Anger for me. I know. Oh, so uh, we are uh, winding down a little bit on time. I think we should play one last track off I of would, the... What, uh, what, what would you like the boys and girls at home to hear? I think... What are you thinking? Rotten Rhode Island or uh We're Summer actually Save Me? gonna go with we we're gonna go with Summer Save Me. It really does give the rock opera feel to it, but mm-hmm. Dish is wanting to put on a song that we have never actually performed live yet. Oh that's right. This is the track that Dish can't play. I can't because, play it right. because we have never had a rehearsal. We've never been able to get this one right. A lot of the songs that we've even songs that were kind of written along the road that where you kind of polished up and like listened in the van to it, to it and like Did it I was like check? oh I got this part and like Justin would you know put the guitar piece together sitting listening to it over right. the speakers we kind of we were just kind of like walked up and like you know when you go to those concerts and people and, and the guys are like you guys want to hear a new one and nobody really wants to hear it right ours was even worse because we're like you guys want to hear one we've never practiced before <laughs> like, <laughs> or the best part was they'd be like one more song we're like we don't know anymore <laughs> Like one more note, we just, just going to play one again. We but yeah, we got. We just gave it all to you. Yeah. Well, then uh, let's uh, let's do that. Rotten we're going to so, we're going to play a track called "Rot in Rhode Island." Yep. Uh, also known as the song that Dish can't play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you can't take down your walls this time And wake again with the shakes again From the drugs last night Well I could see it coming when it was running Many miles away I could hear you crying even when you were trying Cause you didn't need a mic to say I'm in need and I'm hurting I know your soul is burning And the flame Cash out on your bed this time And take again from your big friends Who have left you high and dry Well I could see it coming when it was running Many miles away I could hear you crying even when you were trying Cause you didn't need a mic to say I'm in need and I'm hurting And I know your soul is burning And the flame from the pain about to consume you I wish I still knew you So right away Let the demons into play I've been true to this day But you let your demons own you right away And wonder why I stay I've been true to this day
So that was the band Cardiac with the track Rot in Rhode Island, the song that Dish can't play. <laughs> Parentheses. <laughs> it's not that I, I, I can play it, I just don't play it right. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, then by that standard, <laughs> I can play it too. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I got every part right except that damn intro. And it's just that weird little... Because yes, yeah, as long as we skip over the intro, as long as, the we, intro, the intro, as, long as we don't fine. play the beginning, sort of rush through the middle and yeah. tap off the end, yeah. I can yeah, nail yeah, that Yeah, part. I got that sucker, yeah. So, um... Yeah. No, it's actually, I mean, it's a really cool piece of music, and, and, and this is something that I've been, uh, th- through listening to all three of those tracks, mm-hmm. I mean, very non-typical, uh, not formulaic pop, very against the grain uh, of, of what is uh, typically going on, you know, in terms of radio and stuff today. Is that, is there anything intentional about that? Is it sort of like, fuck all I'm writing when I'm writing, and that's all there it is was, to it? It was exactly that. It was more, it was more taken out of my personal diary, like I said, like either notes that I wrote to myself, poems that I wrote to myself, lyrics that I wanted to turn into songs, stuff like that, and it was like it's, it's, I wanted to concentrate more on the lyrical value of the songs than mm-hmm. the musical, but when it came down to the musical value has now kind of come up to that right. level too. You know, now, so. you know, I think it was one of those things, David, and like I said, I wasn't there for the writing process on this record, but from what I gather it, from being around it so much, it's, it's, it's kind of like you wrote the song that you wanted, not what you thought people wanted yeah. you to write. And and that's respectable to me because Absolutely. everybody out there is chasing that, you know, they're chasing that uh, elusive hit. And none of these were formulated. Like going, you oh, can let's only write this Black so Eyed Peas so uh-huh. many fucking times before you want to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. and, and then you come and listen to Cardiac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And real, yeah. But it's, you know, but it's one of those things where I just, I really feel that. At the end of the day, even if you don't sell a, a, a copy of any of this, as long as you can take it, put it on, and enjoy listening to what you've done, you win. I, I thoroughly agree. I think you know, at, at any point that you start, uh, you know, chasing that hit, you're sort of, you know, chasing that dragon. It's insincere, and it, you can smell it. Yeah, it, it is. And you're, and you're a trend chaser, not a trend setter. Uh-huh. And that's. You know, I, I, I just think that, you know, he Dave, you just did whatever the hell you wanted and, to do. And, and when people actually turned out that they liked it while we were on tour, uh-huh. it felt that much better. Cause like, Absolutely. It, it's like it, when I went up with my old punk band or when Dish has gone up with his other bands, like we've talked to each other that like sometimes you, you go through the movements, you're not necessarily nervous to get on stage. Every fucking night with this band, I freak out. <laughs> like everybody's gonna hate us because they put us with and, metal bands all yeah, over like, the we've place. Been, we've played punk shows, we've played metal shows because everybody that we booked through, we, we self booked the entire tour. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We didn't use a booking agent. We we fucking figured out everything ourselves, and we went through bands that we knew that we were friends with from previous tours, booking agents we had become friends with, friends that own clubs. And everybody knew us from our past projects. So when they right. designed the night out, it was like, you know, you would send them the material, but like, you they know, club, owner, club owners and people, they're like, they're, they're too busy. It's a and band like, called Cardiac. They Sounds got, heavy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much. And they're like, you know, from our background, they're like, oh, this will be this will be a metal night. This will yeah. be a punk night. Right. Like, and you get there and you're just like, shit, these people are going to hate us. Yeah. And it turns out, well, actually, a lot of the metal crowds we've played with they loved have us. fucking loved us. They're like, and, and like, they're like weird. holy shit, there's a piano. And, right? I never knew those existed. <laughs> <laughs> there's that thing with the keys and the whatnot. And, uh, I, I mean, in some ways, I almost uh, don't find that surprising just because given the sort of uh, oftentimes the nature of metal, it, it gets sort of referred to as sort of like, oh, it's just loud and bashing. But if you really listen to what's Very going musical. on, Very yeah, there's musical. a lot going on. And I think the people that are listening to it actually have a much broader ear than they're oh, yeah. giving credit oh, for. Oh, absolutely. I agree. But yeah. they still all want to beat the shit out of Justin Bieber. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> and I'm for it, by the way. <laughs> it's like, you totally are, looked at the camera and you're like, yes. I am for That's it. why on this next tour, like we're, we're happy that we've got some harder songs to play now, too, so that when we look the crowd over, we can be like, it's going to be one of those set lists. Yeah, like, you right. know, like, or, like, you know, we can go a little, like, you know, on, on other certain shows, we've played with, like, acoustic bands, and we can go on the ballad stuff. And uh-huh. and, and some of them have both incorporated, you know, it's sure. got heavy and soft in the songs. But um, after listening to Rotten Rhode Island, I also wanted to give a shout out to, to a very special person that really helped this band out at the beginning and just now when it broke up, uh, Mikey Alfaro. He's actually on tour oh, yeah. as well right now in a band called New Year's Day. Um, he 
was actually which my is first funny because it's the one day they're not booked on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was actually my first my first pick for the guitarist in this, and he he recorded the first three songs, which one of those was Rotten Rhode Island, Breathe, and Summer Save Me, yeah. and Ooh. he killed it in the studio. The guy's Great like a fucking player. like one to two take kind of guy. He played and, in pink. And he's, wow, yeah. he's 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 incredible, and um, he's out on the road right now, and he actually when. When I called around to musicians in the country after I lost my band before this tour, Mikey was the first one that said, fuck it, I'll go. And, <laughs> cool. jumped, and jumped in. That was at the beginning of the conversation when we were talking about how Dish came in. That was the guitarist sitting next to me when I had to make that call. And he was like, not looking forward to calling me. <laughs> 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 but yeah. So yeah. we are uh, we are about to wrap it up here right, one right. more time. Uh, let's talk about again. Uh, do you guys have just your own website? Is there a cardiac? We do. That one needs to be updated, but there is a cardiac cardiacband.com. Um, the reverb again is uh, www.reverbnation.com slash cardiac band. Um, that's where everything can be found. Does, by does cardiac tweet steal everything? Oh yes. Actually, our guitarist. That's his only job. Is in charge <laughs> of tweeting. He tweets very well. I think it's a mass tweet. Is it a, a mass? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think he can no, mass he doesn't, tweet. He doesn't mass we tweet. We gave him it because we don't like Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> then he's the rookie, Obviously, so. we have too much to say for 140 characters. Just, <laughs> what a random number, too. Let's just make it 140. Yeah. Right? Why not 150? Yeah. Fuck it, 140. Well, if, and, yeah, your, exactly. and your name has to take up some of that. Exactly. <laughs> right. It's like, you can say, hi, hashtag, hashtag. is like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand the whole hashtag thing. He gets it. I don't get yeah. it. You know, Dave here, he understands all that stuff. I I still don't even go on my own Facebook. <laughs> An email eludes me. I want I want a rotary phone. <laughs> yeah, Dish can't text either. <laughs> so uh, no texting, no tweeting, no, no Facebook, I'm, and definitely no playing Rotten Rhode Island. No, no, this, here's, here's the, I have to learn it for this next tour. Um, it, it's just one of those weird beats. It, what, I think the click track is like so quick. Don't on try it. to defend yourself. It, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> defend myself. I saved your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then once again, if you are in the L.A. Hollywood area Zero next one, Monday, baby. October 7th at the House of Blues, come check out Zero One. Uh, this has been another really fun episode of American Psycho. Thank you so much to the guys from Cardiac. Thank you, man. Uh, Dave Thank you for and Dish. Thanks, and, uh, yeah, Absolutely. And uh, we'll be chatting and talking later. We'll be at rehearsal. Yeah, we have rehearsal like eight minutes. Eight minutes. No, it's funny because Zero One rehearses. Car- <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. uh, it's a new thing for me. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we will be back for another episode next week. Uh, I don't know who the guest is going to be. I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but that's part of the fun and excitement. So remember to tune in here to ExciteRadio.com. I've been your host, Brian Crow. You can follow me on Twitter. I know how to use 140 characters. That's at <laughs> the Brian Crow. You can also find me on Facebook um, lurking at various times of the night. Uh, this has been American Psycho. Thank you so much. We will, uh, we will see you next week. Thank you. That's all we got this week. Join us every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific on American Psycho. Only on X-Site Radio. Stay tuned for Close to Nowhere. Coming up next.